Hey everyone, welcome. So today what we're gonna do is build a couple of basic Discord bots. What do these bots do? Well, you can see the end result right here. Uh, these are for a really awesome game and awesome community called Crypto Raiders. And these will report the price of their token. Um, and that way those values can be in Discord instead of having to go to various sites to look them up. Um, all right, so how do we build this? Now, the way I built it was with a combination of a few things. One of those things was Integramet, and that's what's actually getting the data and passing it to the bots. So part one, we're going to just look at that. Uh, so how does this work? I've used three HTTP requests. The reason is that I have two bots to upgrade. Uh, if I only had one, this would be two modules. I wouldn't need the router. Um, now in Integramet, basically just start a new um, scenario and uh, go and choose the HTTP request module. And when you get in there, uh, you can go and uh, first of all, hit adv show advanced settings and make sure that you evaluate all states as errors except for 200 and 300 because otherwise Integramat won't recognize errors. The other thing you wanna do just for basic setup is select parse response over here. Um, that way the response data is gonna be usable in the next modules without that it takes a little bit more work. So we are going to get um, some data from Nomics. Nomics is a really awesome site, at least in my opinion. And uh, they let you, I mean, one, the, the collection of tokens is awesome. The UI is really great. And then you can go and compare in every uh, different type of currency or pairing that you want to see. Uh, so also a really nifty feature. You can click up here and then they'll take you to get an API key and you just basically need to uh, you can get a free one and that'll be enough, even though it's not perfectly ideal and I'll explain why, it still gets the job done. And I think their base key is like 5K, so, you know. Um, so we're gonna query the prices um, API. So this is the URL and you can find that in their documentation. And then we have key equals, well, I'm not putting my key here, even though I think it's a public one, but you know, you know good practice. So, uh, you know, no parentheses, just paste the key in there. Now. I also have this header section uh, where the value key is being passed. I was surprised I needed both. I'm not sure about it, but when I removed it from the URL, it stopped working. Uh, so I have both, uh, you can play around with it. And again here, the actual key value. Uh, past that point, you don't actually need request content, so you can leave this empty. I was just playing around with it. Uh, and this is, this is all you need. And so when you run this, let me show you in uh, this guy over here, uh, so when you run this, you're going to get a massive dump, like a rather large one. Look at this file size. It's, it's sadly very large because I don't yet know how to specify the, um, yeah, sorry, how to, how to specify the specific coins I want to get. I'm not sure if it's actually allowed, um, at least on the free API. So then when you check in the data section, uh, then you can see, you know, here is the token. So we have currency and price, and this is just a large list of currency and price key pairs. So what we're going to do in the later modules is just pull out the one that we want. So if we take a look at that, um, and yeah, let's take a look at the Raider module. So uh, here, first of all, we are pinging the Discord app, right? I have created a bot in Discord. That's really important to say. Um, on the Discord side of things, you need to create an app. There's tons of uh, guides for that. So I'm just not covering it, but I will put a link in the description. And that doesn't take too, too long. You do need to make sure to give that bot, when you share the link, give that bot permission to change its own nickname because that's the mechanism we're using here. So uh, Discord app, API, guilds. This is the ID of the guild that you are putting the bottom that you want to change. Um, sorry, where you want it to basically work and update. Uh, so that you can get from the URL uh, is the easiest place uh, if you take a look in the Discord web app. And then slash members and at me. So basically, based on the bot token that you'll put here that you'll get from Discord, and that's the secret token, so don't share it. There's a reason I'm not showing it here. The Nomics one isn't very sensitive, but this one is. Uh, and I could be wrong about the Nomics one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so do not share that key because it's the password to your bot. Um, so here, because we're sending that token and because Discord can identify, you know, which bot that token belongs to, we're saying at me, that's what we're changing. Uh, so again, here, authorization bot plus the token. So bot is specifying that this is a bot type token. 
Uh, and then if we go into the body type, I tried putting this in the query string, it didn't work. It might work, I just, I don't know, this seemed better. Uh, so body type raw, JSON. Again, you want to parse response, although at this point, it probably doesn't matter too much. And again, here I did hit show advanced settings and, and make sure that the uh, you know, errors are being registered properly here. Uh, so what's happening is the content I'm going to send, and if you take a look at the API documentation uh, for that URL, it'll explain a little bit more thoroughly why I did this. But the value that I want to change, and I think the only one I can change with this call is Nick or nickname, but that's what they called it. Uh, and then what I want to change it to is, you know, the name is Raider. This is the formatting of the bot. Let's just pull that up on the screen again so you can see it. So, you know, and all I want to change is after the dollar sign. So how do I get that? Uh, well, the formatting here isn't the most beautiful, um, but if I just try and make it a little more legible right now, then uh, here's what we get. So the starting from the inside, the first thing is that we're taking this whole data array I showed you, it was a big list of key value pairings, and we're going to map that into a single dimension array or just a list. Um, and the way we're gonna do it, that list is only gonna have one value. So it is a mapping of this array um, only of the price value. And we're only gonna take the price value where the currency is equal to Raider. Uh, so if you hold over map here, you can see the formatting at once in case you forget. So it's this, uh, oh no, <laughs> it's this bottom line that we've done. Um, and yeah, uh, so basically from there, we're going to get the first value of that array. It's the only value. And then we're gonna parse it as a number. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna format it, but I can't format a string as a number. So we're gonna convert it into a number. Um, and you can see here, it just wants you to specify the decimal separator. And then finally, we're gonna format the number. And if you take a look at that, it is number, decimal points, and decimal separators. So uh, number of decimals, then the decimal separator, and then the thousand separator. Uh, so that's what it calls for. And uh, then we close out our um, query here and, uh, and that's it. So basically with the actual key plugged in, it works. So let me show you the end result one more time. We are going to take a look at, where is it? So these bots, and maybe I can do this nice and quick. So this is the actual one it's gonna run. Um, so I'm gonna hit run and switch back and maybe we'll see it happen live. Maybe we won't, oh, there it is. So you saw that one update. And if we take a look over here, uh, once again, you, you know, you can see this ran successfully. Um, and if you don't click that, you, you know, treat 400, 500 statuses as errors, but then even if this had an error, it would show green, you wouldn't know. So that's why we want to do it. So um, if you only go this far, if you've created the bot on Discord, and if you have um, set up this integer map, uh, routine, then you're going to have these bots, they're going to work, but they won't show us online. So in part two, what we're going to do is show you how to get the bots online. Uh, so that's coming up right next, assuming YouTube's algorithm is doing its job properly. Um, well, the way I want it to do it, <laughs> I guess. And uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, then just like, subscribe, I think, if it's not mirrored, you know, you know where the button is at this point. Um, so thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you like this, you know, we run on props. So if you uh, comment, if you subscribe, all that, and uh, this is useful, then we'll make more of these videos. So thank you guys very much.